Yeah, regarding your question, I think there have been definitely a lot of challenges. And since actually we first re released Black Desert in Korea eight years ago, we've been expanding you know, to more regions and also to more platforms using the, the same Black Desert IP. And fortunately, I think we've been pretty successful. I don't think there are many other MMORPGs that are popular for a long time in both you know, East, you know, uh, in Asia and also in the Western regions like Black Desert. So I really appreciate all our communities. But I think some of the challenges are, first of all, I think because we now uh, are running the service in many different countries, I think we really have to consider all different user behaviors and different voices actually coming from all different regions into the development. So, and also stages are sli slightly different, not much, but we first launched in Korea first, and then we brought the game to Europe and uh, North America, and then opened up the South American servers and Taiwan, Japan, and other countries. And considering all the little different stages or life, life cycle of a product and also different markets, different players' behaviors, different play styles, people always ask for more. And I believe our devs and you know all my team here are really trying best to offer something our players want, but whatever we do, there are some voices you know, that are not very happy about those. So we know that we really cannot make everyone happy with every single update we make. But sometimes I think I see, you know, some sad faces like, hey, JJ, you know, we did this, you know, much. And then some players are complaining and I just tell them, hey, just now it's no matter what we do, there are, you know, some angry players. There are some players you know, who are not happy about what I do, but we just need to keep doing this because that's why, you know, we exist and just to keep listening what they want and to keep listening, you know, their feedback and try to incorporate you know, their feedback into our you know, development and live operations so that we just keep improving the game. If everybody is happy, probably there is no reason we have to <laughs> exist here. So I think that's our job just to make you know, our live service just not keep improving because no game is perfect, especially MMORPGs is very uh, tough to run. You know, it's a very big, very sophisticated um, you know, genre. There are so many different components in games. Some players really love PvP, some players don't, and some players are just purely life skillers, and some people always just not fight with somebody, they try to kill other players. There are always conflict, you know, whether it, whether it's a guild versus guild or a player versus player. There are all different type of conflicts in the Black Desert world, just like in the real life. And some players love it. Some players like, oh, Ashna, can you just leave me alone? Actually, not so that I can do something else. But I think this is really similar to real life problems. We really cannot be happy about every component you know we have in our lives. But we just need to keep trying to fix things, change things, so that we really just not find a better way to you know serve our you know Black Desert community. So. Other than that, I think there are, you know, other challenges, of course, like in marketing or communication. We're trying our best to, you know, figure out better way to communicate with our players and also just you know, bring more, you know, fun content, more interesting content to our players. But just you know, all the live operations and all the processes and the the things that you know, we do, I think there are a lot of efforts that you know, we put in every single process. Definitely one of the biggest difference of Land of Morning Life from the previous expansion is that this is a big region, but we actually kind of updated like a big new regions multiple times before. But this is a very Korean region. So everything is by, uh, inspired by Korean culture, especially by Korean Joseon dynasty. And a lot of things actually we created in the Land of Morning Light really resembles you know, what the old Korean Joseon dynasty looks like. And I'm actually very proud of that we did it because it's not really easy to bring this you know, very different cultural component to an MMORPG. And Black Desert is also very typical kind of Eurocentric um, uh, themed 
uh, MMORPG, just like all the other you know, MMORPGs that are popular at the moment. And that was more like just kind of a matter of fact. Like, you know, if you're an MMORPG fan, you would understand what I'm talking about. Usually it's like a set in a medieval European fantasy world and you don't want to bring in something actually that might not work well with the existing world. But after seven, eight years of you know, live service for Black Desert, we got to think that maybe actually we can bring in something a little more different and something more, you know, like a culturally inspired by in you know, a Korea or like old time in you know, a Korea Joseon dynasty, just to make a very unique, but sort of exotic land and still make it nicely blend in the current uh, Black Desert world. And I think my devs did a great job making it work. And that's one thing. But not only that, I think we also brought in a lot of new features that we believe our players were looking for with the Land of Morning Light update. Like we heard a lot about like, you know, uh, players who are looking for more uh, compelling storylines actually they're like hey you know we want to you know see more you know engaging stories actually in the in the black desert world actually there are a lot of interesting stories that are connected to the quest lines and boss fights and land of morning light and there is also a little different you know non-linear gameplay component there we also brought in this new boss blitz a little different uh you know gameplay for you know bosses and you know, many more. I think actually we also just you know, introduce more, you know, similar like a cutscenes. I think there are a lot of you know, technical improvements there. And all these we believe were the things actually our players actually wanted to see more in Black Desert. And not only the component that, you know, uh, that resembles to, you know, Korean culture, you know, that very Korean uh, stuff. We also brought in a lot of new things so that our players really enjoy this new expansion. Right, right. Yeah, I think it's definitely a good time for anybody actually to start Black Desert. I think it's a really good content for our veteran players who already gone through everything and want something new. I think it's also good content for beginners, actually, who never played Black Desert or people actually who had a little break from Black Desert. This is really perfect time for them just to come back and see these new things in a very unique new land. And also, I'm not sure if you know, but Land of Morning Light originally was supposed to be like a high level content. So in Korea, when it was first released two months ago, it was only for like a level 60 and above. And then we thought, oh my god, this content is so good. And then why don't we make it accessible from level one? So for the last couple of months, devs put a lot of work so that we can change it to just the entry level, just, you know, um, content. And I think it also worked out pretty well. So we also made it uh, very accessible and also very educational, even level on players in a start in Land of the Morning Light. Actually, you can get to choose. You can actually go through the, the conventional uh, route, but you can also enter the Land of Morning Light in level one and still get to do, you know, how to fish, how to you know, farm the meat. And you have this like educational um, things in Land of Morning Light. So I think you know, we, are you know happy to see you know all these different level of people actually enjoy the land of morning life from day one i see a lot of things actually coming in and you know as i said actually earlier today you know it's already like a seven eight year old game but for an mmorpg i think we have you know a long way to go i believe you know a game like black desert really can long live like you know 10 years 20 years and we have very strong community who love you know black desert and we just try to keep you know bringing this like new component and you know things that you know, our players you know, want to see and i think you know there are really just you no know, more things that you know, we can bring in and some of those you know new things that you know, we tried are the recent you know, Atraxion and also last year's uh, Eternal Winter update 
and also um, Abyss One Magnus and also Land of Morning Light this year. I think as the time goes by, still, you know, I think the community is getting strong. I think we've got more and more content. Black Desert started with only four classes in Korea eight years ago. Now we have 26 mm. classes, you know, with the recent Usa and Megu updates. And I think we are embracing more diversity in Black Desert, whether it's classes and you know, we had very few, but now we have different class, different races and very different style classes. We've got a very big, you know, lens actually you know, we've been adding since the launch. So I think actually uh, Black Desert is still you know, expanding and trying to give you know, more fun gameplay experience to our players. So I'm really hopeful that we're gonna keep adding more new things and we're gonna offer more you know, new gameplay experience to our community. I cannot say specifically what at this point, but I'm pretty sure you know, our players know that we're gonna keep doing this for the next you know, several to like 10, 20 years. Strike centuries with me!